Hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. Today, we're actually going to stream Rome Total War Remaster. <laughs> I played uh, Rome Total War the Classic version since it was released uh, the first time. And uh, I literally did love <coughs> how um, the game was back then. That was hours, hours of hours of playing of Rome 1, the classic. And uh, I had tried at least to try to play um, the remaster just a little bit, but it's not feeling the same. It's all different, so it doesn't give me the vibe as it did as the classic. <clears throat> but this one is updated. I can uh, change the settings to classic version if I want to, but let's stick with the um, with the uh, yeah. I use the extreme uh, unit size. As you can see here, we are using ultra on everything. <clears throat> unit color scheme. Can try that as well because it's they say realistic, but uh, should I believe it? I don't think so. <clears throat> I just started a campaign just a little bit earlier today just to keep the campaign a little bit going because the start is boring. So now we have six settlements. My light Romans have uh, five. SPQR, the Romans <coughs> have one. So I will also try to replicate uh, the battle I had once in a time in um, Rome 1 Classic. And to get there, it will <coughs> be a long time, honestly. Because I had this area and completely towards to Denmark ish and all over to Spain and from here to Carthage. That was my empire back then. And the Brutii and I, we had a battle around beneath Segesta. Because I was going to take Salona. They had 3-5 legions and <clears throat> I had just one. That was a bloody battle, but I managed to defeat the Brutii. Then I had the set reinforcements towards the uh, <laughs> soldiers. But uh, I was going to try to replicate that once we get into that style of story. So, uh, for now, we're gonna try to defend ourselves from Gauls. We are war with Carthage, Greeks, and I'm sending out some scouts, diplomats, spy all over the place. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. Um, So what I gotta do now is to build my city. I'm just waiting for the colonies to <coughs> get up as well. Because that means we can level up our cities as much as possible. Because we kind of need that in order to have the upkeep of our troops. Which is going to be helpful. And it is ready. <laughs> Finally. Uh, 
Right, so we still need population happiness. We need that and we need the taxes income a little bit more better. So I had to focus a little, a little bit more on the uh, taxes income. Allows gladiator games to be held. Public order bonus due to happiness. Like gladiators will always help to keep the happiness of your people You're all on. across. Damn, this Britons is um, all over the damn place. Yeah, it's not that war against the Gauls, they made peace with us. That would just ease our... Um, That will at least ease us for the wars that is to come. But I don't like the voiceovers here in um, the remaster one. I really don't like that. It's so disgusting compared to the original. Let's put up the gladiators. <clears throat> Next turn, we're going to focus on Karales to <clears throat> build or construct our cities. Peace with the Greece, we have made peace with the Gauls, and Carthage. <clears throat> but the other Romans are in war with them. And I couldn't even care more. <laughs> right, let's see here. For the rankings, I am above the other Romans, the Britia and the Scipii, and I want to stay that way in overall ranking, military ranking. The Britia is stronger there, but I lost some units there, so we will get stronger. Uh, for the production ranking, the Scipii got, of course, they got the uh, Sicily uh, castle. That has a little bit more better <laughs> construction and production. Territorial ranking, that is where I want to stay above. Financial ranking, of course. SPQR is the top priority of that. <clears throat> so now I just have the rebels as war. At war, always at war with the rebels. You can't stop that. So now I'm neutral with all factions, which is good. And now we're gonna build. Not yet though. Next turn. So we're gonna build for the next coming. Right. I. Oh, I hate rebels. <clears throat> 
Right now we can build Carolis. So first thing first is the road. Now let's build uh, the then the road, the market. Public help growth. That at least will uh, help us to grow uh, the income a lot more stronger. And I know what they are planning to do. They are planning to attack Flavius. Be my guest. Because Flavius is gonna. Now they want to have the trade rights. Our thanks. <clears throat> but after they're doing that kind of stuff, they will just simply use the trading system to find out more about us. Sending out these um, diplomats and scouts and spies out will help me to find the bases, the fortress. A little bit faster though. Armory. Make a stronger uh, foothold of the military there. Finally, now you will get the same thing as well. Now I have to construct Arminium. <clears throat> uh, to keep my ready. blockade spotter. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Ask that you send one of your fleets to blockade this port for one turn. This will increase the pressure on this faction, cutting their income. Yeah, in order to help uh, the Brutii to grow, that's what I mean. They have a strong force there already. Yes. Already. At once. At once. Awaiting your command. Without Find another blame. base. Okay, what we have found now is the Gauls has a large area. And the Britons doesn't have that much uh, cities as I thought they was. But yeah, so I have to destroy the Gauls faster than I would have anticipated. No more move, sir. Right, so we have an army. Let's send this guy out to be the uh, protector of this realms. Because we have already notified they are the nearby. Aye, Captain. Fleet ready. Yes, Captain. Fleet ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Oi, oi, Captain. Fleet ready. Set sail. Right, so uh, Carthage has Palma. We're gonna conquer that island as well. And now, 
as they would say in the Rome 2 trailer. Mediterranean is undoubtedly ours. That's when the uh, Second Punic War, or Third Punic War, or Fourth Punic War began. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We're gonna send him, him out. We're gonna uh, take this settlement. We gotta try to remove those goals away from this area. And for him. Gotta have the trades in order. <clears throat> yeah. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, it seems like the uh, microphone. Yeah, the microphone is working. Hmm. Odd. So yeah, we're gonna send these armies up here. I'm gonna put the, some of these troops towards to Marcus Julius. Gonna recruit. Yeah, we don't have any cash for that yet. Not yet, but we can recruit you. Some of these troops as well. Because that is what we kind of need to um, have them going. What happened? I heard uh, an attack somewhere. Obviously not on my settlements, I hope. No, that's fine. Roads. Gonna recruit at least Principes and one town march. Principes, one town march. Flavius Julius is gonna need another general in that settlement. I really want to have a lot of generals in my cities because that keeps the happiness up a little bit. Uh, you got okay. You can get that much. Now block that road for that goal. And if these goals, that's probably what they're doing. They're probably waiting with that army until that army has arrived to attack. But what they were not prepared for, that I too have two large armies to defend myself. So now, what would you do now, Gaul? I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! <clears throat> I knew it! That they would actually attack me. That should be their regret. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing 
I was ahead of that preparation. Good thing I planned it, but I didn't actually see that the army would go that fast into war. But obviously they did. By all means. Before night comes again, this battle will be over. Whether the day goes well or ill is in our hands. The gods will favor those who help themselves. So take up your arms and prepare. These gulls do not need your fear. Cold steel will bring them down just like any other men. On this field stand one in four of our people's warriors. We are enough then to win great honor and do great service. This and more I have no doubts that you will do. Here we stand. Here we wait. Let them come to us. We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. Many times I have faced these people, and still they are too stupid to learn their lesson. Today, men will die to teach them afresh that they should simply run away. We may be able to hide men in the woods nearby. With luck, that would be a surprise for our foes. Now, battles are only drilled with some blood splashed around. March forward, and the enemy will quail. Now then, look to your front. Mark your target when it counts! <laughs> I love these uh, speeches, especially when they zoom in like this and keep it that way. Sad I actually removed that feature because that was the thing. When I grew up, I was imagining more cinematic feel into their speeches, having more cinematic feel to it. But instead they went the other way around for it. Okay, so the barbarians will definitely come around. General. They will see my general anyway, I think. Run! So we have basically the whole fort, the forest Quickly! here to defend ourselves. Unit! Oh, great. So what Go I'm gonna head. do just to try to get the enemy to march towards that area. He, these will be the uh, attackers. They're not gonna fire. These Romans will definitely move around the area if the Gauls choose to attack this place, which I hope they do. Because they have only the sights of these units, so they don't know where the rest of the army is. And that will make them be more careful for what's going to happen. I know I wish I had Principes, different uh, army units. That takes time to build. OK, 
Okay, they chose to engage right in front. They got surprised attack that. Shit, Sherlock. Get back information. information engage Okay, we lost that flank. Time watch. Your turn. Alright. Get yourself over there. Studies will protect your flank. can literally get my uh, that's why I don't like the uh, health studies and town watches okay give them help you guys Closer. It's your turn now, General. thing with the barbarians they have the uh, screaming thing I don't remember the name of it but that's something that scares your troops out of the blue Wait, 
We're breaking them down. Huh. That's incredible. There we go. Now they saw the purpose. Oh, well, that's the general unit. That explains a little bit. Fall back, fall back. Not on my general with against those spear units. Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's heart! Now! Full attack. Take as many as you possibly can. got a lot of them there. <laughs> the battle difficulty is on very very hard, very hard at least, and the campaign is on easy because I am slow as you can possibly see when it comes to campaign stuff so but they will give me um, okay. Soldiers deployed 3,461 versus 3,510, so we were equivalent, but the barbarians have uh, always larger numbers in the units, incorporated to Romans. But thanks to their retreat, we uh, managed to take down a lot more if we didn't take down. So the casualties inflicted was a little bit higher. <sighs> now what should I do with you? Fleet ready. Fine. There you go. I blockade the port for them Aye, as well. The Spaniards have that settlement. At once, your honor. Without delay. Right, so the Gauls have a huge large army. Victory and glory. Uh, yeah, we should be all right. Don't you worry, I'll destroy them. Just to have to build my uh, place first. 
War and uh, Kinnabalins of Batavium merchants. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to blockade the port of Massalia. I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. I'll send an army to take Massalia and furthermore towards the west and remove the Gauls from these uh, lands of uh, Rome and I will try to conquer this area and I'll to try to build another army to protect our borders here at Rome at Italy at least Which will be more modern Roman warriors. And we can send Flavius Julius Ziza out. Let us now talk reasonably. Here we go again. No. Until next time. Now you use up your chances. Okay. Narbo Martius. Okay then. I'll block it at the port immediately. Awaiting your command. Without delay. Your honor. Your honor. Your honor. Build us a watchtower over there, so we have more view towards that area. And that was a stupid move of me. Fall back, fall back immediately. <laughs> and you need to go back over here. of build up and rest Let's take it at normal, so we have more people arriving to the city. Lucius Julius, Senate official uh, offices assigned. We got the favors of the uh, Senate of the policy. Fleet 
ready. Okay, they uh, ran away. That's good. No. Flavius. Need another general. Anyone? Wait, we lost a general there too? No. He's over there. Orders. Forward. Get into that settlement. Retrain your troops. You had another general. Build a fleet so we can send one general over to Rome. Greetings. I don't know Our if thanks. I should trust these Brits, but uh, let's do so. More income. Fleet ready. Orders. These rebels will always Fleet be ready. my enemy. Right, so the new general will get a new army, which he will be um, better. Okay, you're gonna have that as well, the wall. You almost have that as well. That's good. Okay, so they're returning. I just want another general so I can place one in the uh, settlement. Umbria. Pannonia. Both of them died at the same time. No. She died a one year later after Flavius. Poor woman. Completely switched them out for a little bit. Okay, now comes the Germania. Dear friend, our thanks. Okay, they gave me all the map information of their place. Which is good. I knew they would do so. Fuck you, go rebels. Take settlement, so, uh, Massalia. Sure can do. Just allow me to recruit my troops first before we get that far. I captain. Up the boat. Orders. Forward. I captain. Sir. All right. You, my 
my friend. You're gonna have a uh, Roman Legion all by yourself. How about that? I'm gonna give you a lot of principes. You probably have to wait for it until we get the Roman archers and the better cavalry units. Once we've gotten that, he is ready to get over here while uh, this guy is conquering over here, holding the goals back. Armenia is destroyed. Can you believe that? Yes, master. Right. On my way. Should give him cavalry in it as well. Almost constructed everything you can construct, that's good. Same with you. And you. About two turns, this arm is ready. Fleet ready. Holy moly boly. I got three, two legions, large legions of them. Hey MJ, how you doing? The campaign is starting fresh. Um, the battle uh, is all very hard. The campaign map is easy because I'm slow building. But uh, so far it's going uh, well. How is it going for you, MJ? You just released the Witcher 3 tributes with you on the city of Novigrad. Nice. I'm a save style player. Well, I hadn't played Save City, uh, the civilization, before, but it wasn't my kind of style. <laughs> oh, yeah. It crushes it all the time. We lost our general though. I feel sad about that. Uh, for uh, YouTube, I will create videos on my Item Blazer uh, channel. 
this last racing channel is dead I won't upload anymore on that so I'm done with the YouTube uploading uh, for racing and now I will just go with what I'm totally passionate with and go back to my old roots about history and fantasy and do rally when I have to so yeah it's it's just that so I will stream on Twitch and make make YouTube videos on YouTube on the Autumn Blazer channel. All is linked in uh, the below here or the uh, info uh, bar on this side. Awesome. So what I'm trying to do now, Majay, is to actually recreate the battle, as I uh, explained to uh, Wolf of, of Iberia, the battle I had against the Brutii for many, 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 many years ago, was around here somewhere. And that was against the Brutii, they had about four to six reinforcements. I had one legion, they had four to six legions, I won Pyrrhic victory, I completely destroyed all the generals on all six armies, I lost my one general, but my army fought bloodied, heavy, especially after they lost their own general. Then they were rushing towards the uh, Brutii army killing the general and killing the armies of Brutii and never moved away from that place ever again. That is the battle I will try to recreate on this campaign. <laughs> I will try to recreate this battle I had on this campaign. So I had areas like up from here to Britain and Spain and from here to Carthage. Play this Abritio as I try to take Byzantium. There are only two Greek hoplites in the city resisting my Bruti Hastati. I gave them the full honors funeral. That's nice. Byzantine, wasn't that around here? The Athena or something? Exactly. Thanks, not this remaster, but thanks to the classic Rome Total War. Oh, they are around the Trace. Oh yeah, Trace is about here somewhere. Around the Kreml uh, place. So yeah, the classic Rome Total War. My first ever campaign as Rome, as the Julii. I conquered the shores and then I conquered this area and conquered the shores around I took the middle and then I went up to France Apparently for Total War there are two unannounced projects for this year. Okay. I hope there could be a little bit more about the medieval era, but I really want what you got, a full map scale of this style, like we got in medieval and Rome. In medieval.
Yeah. Some of the quick battles. One more turn and this legion is ready to move. Ready for sale. Now I blockade two of their uh, ports. Scipio has finally done the... Uh, now the Scipio is heavily defended. They have got stone walls. I still have no stone walls. <laughs> My favorite faction is actually the Jedi. End the bloodshed. You do know, Gaul, you asked for peace first you declared war you declared war first you even asked for peace and then you declared war on me again and after I defeated your big army now you want another peace so you can go back into my borders and attack me again no thank you <laughs> until next time <laughs> I'm not going there again. But this army is ready. There we go. And uh, I hope. <laughs> no, thank you indeed. <laughs> Resti Sessatumum Roma Invicta. Oh, that's this song. Gotcha. The best part of Rome 1, the classic version, and this version, is the bridge battles. <laughs> if you are the Greeks, or the Seleucids, or Egypt, or anyone that has long spears, And the enemy is attacking. How many casualties will you take? <laughs> That's the best part of it all. And in sieges as well, when I'm breaking through the gate. Sure. Come in. in. <laughs> I invite you. Oh, fuck yes. Fuck yeah. Patavium is ready to be upgraded. Oh, that went fast. Damn, that went fast. Damn, that went fast. <laughs> uh, the Battle of Seleucids. We get we met Egypt, except there was no bridge. I mean, just stood facing each other for hours. That's the boring part of uh, Spears. They're standing there, pointing, 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 until they get exhausted. Then you're getting casualties. want more generals. I lost one. But he died. He died at uh, Medellinium. Poor guy. You know, I did a whole ton of ambiences for this game, except Jeff Let us now copyrighted talk strike. Yes, and said I was doing piracy. I don't know how that can be piracy if uh, when the 
music is actually coming from the game itself. That's not piracy. One video had gotten to 21,000 views. Nice. And then the, they are of course coming towards your video and saying, oh, you, you are piracing our uh, music. Then they are attacking your videos because they see income coming through your videos. Exactly. The mods. It's a soundtrack made in 2004. Apparently, they say I didn't own the license to the host when they remastered it, so that sucks. Yeah, and it wasn't even the Creative Assembly that remastered it, it was the other, um, the Fer Feral that remastered this game. Feral, yeah. So it's kind of a oh, bitch. Thanks. Well, I have betrayed the Greeks a lot more <laughs> because I make peace with Greece because I like Greece. But the, S the SPQR wants me to block the port all the time, but we haven't shed any bloods towards one another. Not yet, that is. But the brute I have. Yeah. Remember, if you know the Greek, the Spartan history though, did you actually know that the Spartans is from this island? That is where the Spartans originally from. Until they uh, placed them, uh, went over to this Greek place here. Yeah. They act the, the Spartans actually come from Crete. They did come from there. And then they uh, went to Sparta, built the Sparta city, and become the best warriors known as the Spartans. And that is how Spartans were made and built. <laughs> It does. <laughs> so I learned that that the Spartans is historically from Crete, but they uh, migrated to this area here where they called Sparta. And ever since, the other, the Corinth, Epirus, and Athens, they hated Spartans. We all know they hate the Spartans. Now you know why. Because they were not Greek, in a way, because they were from Crete. But until they got the name of Sparta, they started to fear Spartans, because they were more superior warriors. <laughs> so, history learned. <laughs> Could be, yeah. It could easily be that. Imperator, march, march, move out. You have six turns left to take Massalia. <laughs> it always does. Same with the medieval two total war. Rome one. Medieval 2 Total War, Medieval 1 puts you in that historical world. You always theorize, learning history as it is. While you're conquering, you learn history, you build with it, you always grow.
yeah i hope we can at least get a non total war saga of the historical version at least because i'm burned out of saga total wars i'm not interested in the saga total wars i just want this i just want the large armies as the warhammer gets as well they get the uh, big maps but saga historical doesn't it saddens me <laughs> i had this like warhammer uh total war for a long time but warhammer total war warhammer 3 total war got me because i could actually play it for once <laughs> without having issues <laughs> so now i have about 80 settlements there Imperator. Tyrion, I'm playing with Tyrion, the uh, High Elves, do you know the uh, Horseshoe Island? That's the area I started with. Ulthuan, yes. Tyrion is level 50 and he has a champion that is level 50. And every other heroes I have is almost level 50. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrion has been defeated once. And now he's been defeated second time. And I hope that will be the last time against the Chaos. Because this time, I gotta bring every legions up to the Chaos. <laughs> Yeah, it took me a long time to get into Warhammer, but after I've been playing Warhammer Total War 3, it was completely changing my mind about it. Then I wanted to test Warhammer 40k. That blew my mind, so I bought a lot of 40k to Warhammer games. No, oh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where the Scipios gonna go. Are they gonna conquer towards this area or are they gonna go towards Egypt? Oh, did you share a link? Oh, okay. If you do the dot com thing, that will uh, register as a link. Stream Elements is disliking that. I write articles for turn-based lovers, they review turn-based games. Yeah. Oh, nice. And one of the games I got preview is Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Okay, so I'm not into the Rogue Trader. But I got into the Dawn of War and the Inquisitor and the uh, Space Marine 
and the Gladius of uh, Warhammer. So yeah. I have a lot to go through. <laughs> Especially in the Total War history. Or Warhammer history. Okay, let's hope we get that settlement before the rest of the goals are arriving. I just want another general. Please. It feels like my generals are dying. I like the more CRPG aspect. Yeah, I also got reminded that I have the... Um, Deathwing of Warhammer, their first person shooter games. Okay, one more turn. Two more there. Oh boy. Yeah, especially knowing that uh, Henry Cavill will actually make 40k Warhammer TV series. The one guy that loves Warhammer by heart gonna make that into a TV series. I really can't wait. <laughs> Our thanks. Carthage is destroyed. What? Did a Numidian destroy Carthage? And Gauls? Yeah, so this is what Henry Cavill is going to do. He will make sure that it will be true to Warhammer story. And he loves that series so much that he will be true. He don't, I believe he won't make any Rings of Power or Witcher nonsense because that's why he quit Witcher. And now, he gonna produce and be acting in his own series. Mighty deeds are expected. 
So have no fear. Your deeds will live forever. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. Why do they stand? They must have barely a fraction of our men. We should brush them aside easily and claim victory. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. Brave Roman! Prepare to defend yourself! <laughs> okay, I was losing it when he was saying that they were hairy. <laughs> that the goals was hairy. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's the stupid... Uh, uh, tweet from the woman from Netflix is bullshit and the speech is in total war me as a younger version and hope it for a better version of these speeches was the cinematic like like you having the cinematic view of the speeches you seen the general holding his sword up like this and pointing and pointing around with his hand having the speeches riding alongside his armies in front of the army having those speeches talking those things and you're seeing the troops is looking at the general having those speeches and constantly raising the uh, sword like this because they love that speech i was hoping that creative assembly would go that way Mm hmm that is how I would creative assembly to ha upgrade the speeches yeah you have the speeches though but where is the zoom in thing where is that zoom in or the cinematic thing I just spoke of <laughs> Yeah. I hope they will take notes from my idea. There you go. Don't retreat. I don't care much about Tom Watch. I just want to destroy them. They're basically useless. They have. So the generation is different from 2004. That's true. They will all not stay true. The pure total war formula because that's not what they are about anymore. That's also true. That's not necessarily sticking with this. That it is. Because I felt the same way. And that is also some of the reasons I quit Total War because they went away from what I loved about the Total War series.
last time say was good, to truth was wrong, do you remember those app calls of screenshots promising so much and they didn't? Yep. I literally got pissed of it. But I also got the most views of my video of uh, the cost of its release as well. I almost got, well, I got two and a half million views on it. The Siege of Carthage. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter a way through. Two and a half million views. <laughs> And today, monthly, that video getting at least 900 views every month. Still, even today. So almost a thousand views, even. Oh, I monetized that video. That video is monetized. That's the earnings of my channel. <laughs> So yeah, that is the uh, totally earnings of my video, completely. From Total War, just Total War, I actually earned about 1,000, no, $100 from Total War in total of price. Nope, so I'm regretting uh, deleting all my Total War videos of this last racing. So I gotta try to recreate much I had in uh, my Slaster Racing channel and re upload them as best as I possibly can to recreate. Kind of. Yeah. Show no mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Oh wow. You see? That's why I don't like town watches. They're just retreating. Say that again. They're ducking tails. But if you're getting Triari, now that, or the Axilia. Um, <laughs> spear units? Yeah, in the classic Total War, they were incredibly good for a very long time. They were sometimes even better than the auxiliary um, units. Yeah, for the uh, clothing, that should be a little bit more of the family units, but they did chose the uh, biggest Roman families that basically were most known for their civil war. Get yourself over there. Okay, 
capture that side, please? Because we're going to lose a lot of troops. Yeah, I haven't played Rome 2 for a long time yet. Obviously, I have to bring the soldiers inside the walls. Casualties will be a bit larger than expected. Rome 2, I hardly play, I uh, haven't installed it yet, but I will either install it to test uh, Wolf of Iberia's um, uh, mod. Still, well, I could defeat them a long time ago, but I like to take my time. I really want to have the cinematic feel. <laughs> yeah, you know, having the armies to march towards where they're supposed to be. Having all of them form up a line. That's a stupid move. Especially against uh, the town watch. But my casualties for the town watch is heavier. Obviously. Now this is how I like to rule. I like to give them a little bit of surrendering. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. The only thing I don't like about the uh, remaster of uh, Rome remaster is the new acting of voices. That is kind of uh, bullcrap for me. Okay, they're retreating. Tell watch. 
three, four. Shouldn't this tower stop firing after you have occupied the gates though? Because it did in the older games. This is what Rome and Total War should be. Strategic. Even you winning, you're still practicing. How would you attack? How? Get back into your uh, strategic moments. That was the glory of Rome. You know, at this moment, I kind of feel bad for the Gallic people. 